Hey folks. <laughs> so what I'm demonstrating here is that I now have the Razer Hydra motion controllers and the Rift's head tracking information controlling the inverse kinematic control points of the avatar in game. So now this should lead to much more natural interactions with your VR space, but also allows you to interact with your you know the, your other team members within the game much more naturally instead of giving voice commands you can signal them over you can point to objects you can these are these are uh, the very well detailed hands that came with the Razer Hydra's Unity package model um, but it also allows you some kind of neat stuff I'll show you inside what it looks like inside the Oculus Rift and you can do some stuff that you can't do in real space Okay, so for the second part of the video, I'm actually going to go into the virtual space using my Oculus Rift. Uh, incidentally, if you own Oculus Rift and you want to see what I'm seeing in the goggles, you can maximize this YouTube video and then watch it through your Oculus Rift and you'll see the same thing I'm seeing. Of course, you don't get the uh, motion tracking, but at least you'll see the visual elements and you can see the 3Dness of all the objects I'm interacting with. So here's my avatar, um, I'm zooming in just to show you my perspective, I can look down and see the rest of my body, hands, arms, etc. Uh, anyway, this is what I was talking about in the other video. If I go to reach for an object and for some reason, let's say I had an obstacle preventing me from get walk right up to the, uh, uh, this is a nice hot steaming cup of Tim Hortons coffee, I'm from Canada so it had to be Tim Hortons, and I just can't quite reach the cup because of an obstacle sitting sitting in front of me, what I could do is freeze my inverse kinematic control point at this location, reset my hand further back, and then continue reaching. What will happen is that my virtual hand will dislocate, continue traveling towards the cup, and I can then grab the cup. I don't actually have collision detection set on the game object, so I can't actually take it off the Cisco equipment. But you get the idea, I can extend my reach, go grab something just out of the avatar's reach, and when I come back, the arm will just reconnect automatically. So, let me show you from a different angle. It just means that if I reset my angle, I can reach something, bring it back, and it reattaches itself to the body, and it looks pretty fluid this way. So this is a Cisco 7600S. I'm not familiar with that piece of equipment, but anyway, uh, the idea here is that I can walk up to it and I can interact with it. I can turn on certain buttons. Sorry, I can turn on certain buttons and perform OIR events on the racks, or as a network technician would do, is try to fix a piece of hardware. <laughs> And the state of the actual hardware in the game will be represented or synchronized against the Topository. The Topository is another piece of technology at Cisco where the network hierarchy is accurately modeled. So every NOS running, you might have a couple of iOS XRs and all these VMs running, oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said VMs, these NOS runnings within VMs in virtualized space, which is part of our viral product, the Virtual Internet Routing Labs will actually be synchronized with what's in the game here. So I shouldn't have said game, I should have said virtual environment, because you could actually virtualize both in the VM sense and in the virtual space sense your Cisco hardware. Then your network technician walks up to the boxes and you might even have something like Keratin Live, another Cisco technology, feeding real network analytics like the packet bandwidths and all those things back into the same depository data model. That way you might have like an Ethernet cable running across the ground and it'll glow red when it, it detects kind of a back pressure for example, or maybe it has uh, issues with the connection uh, router configuration on the other endpoint so the connection will allow you to kind of follow it to the other endpoint across different buildings and walk into the labs and fix those things. So to that end what I have here is I have, you'll see that, uh, this hurts. <laughs> I have a web browser based canvas. 
that goes onto the ground and you can see that the Cisco piece of hardware here is bound to that icon. Right now I'm only doing a single piece of equipment, that piece of equipment over there, let me zoom out <laughs> so that I can point, um, bound to the icon on the ground. The other ones I haven't gotten around yet to it, but you could effectively picture pieces of Cisco equipment hovering over there. They need not be big shelves like that, they could just be a simple router, simple switch, whatever you want. Um, and the idea here is that I can actually interact my pointer with the mouse pointer and interact with the topology network design via the topository via the topology editor inside the topository. So I can make changes like move this router across the floor and it'll animate to the new location. I can take I'm kind of zoomed out here. I can take this link which is a, you know, if I zoom out a little bit, you can see that it's an RJ45 connector. I can grab that and retarget it to another piece of hardware elsewhere in the lab. It does collision avoidance or collision detection and routing around these, these points. Um, change the interface that it's connected to. Uh, so you might have a, an array of network interface cards on the back of one rack. You can physically take the Ethernet jack from the ground and plug it to a different Ethernet uh, interface inside of your node definition, or you can do so in physical space. So this router on the back, you might have a, a visual representation of the Ethernet cable coming down. And as I would grab with my hand and pull it out of one spot and into another, the topology, the topository model would be updated accordingly. And so the actual NOS is running inside of VMware somewhere perhaps inside of Cisco's cloud, would react to that change of the Ethernet cable configuration. Or, another thing is, uh, if you're familiar with VM Maestro, that's the, the user interface we designed for the topology authoring and the topology... Um, technically, it's the uh, virtual machine orchestration user interface. Uh, what you could do in there is when you select a given node, you get a properties page populate with that node's details. Well, in this virtual space, by selecting, I guess, one of the nodes, which is a router like this, you might have like a panel pop out of the side of it, and the, the properties for it would show up in there. And you could actually, in virtual space, start manipulating these attributes. I haven't really thought of all the... Uh, the capabilities make maybe it makes more sense to have kind of a bubble hover above the pieces of hardware and you can actually go in and make changes to it that way I'm not sure what makes more sense but anyway that's it in a nutshell of course I don't have the topology wired up yet because if I move this router icon on the ground it didn't move the box and vice versa if I move the box it didn't move the icon but that's the next step that's what I'm working on right now uh, and so from this tools palette, and I'm deviating, deviating a little bit here, but you could choose nodes from your palette and drag them onto your canvas. And as soon as you do that, you'll see a new piece of router equipment pop up in virtual space representing that piece being represented from the topology, or sorry, the depository. So anyway, lots of cool stuff we can do with this virtual space. Anyway, that's it in a nutshell. Um, I'll hopefully have a more interesting demo soon. <laughs> but anyway, I just want to show you the avatar, uh, the inverse kinematic control, the head control, and of course the depository editor being rendered on the canvas showing you the actual hardware. And of course that, that kind of dismembered extra reach and then come back to your avatar. Okay, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers.